Traveler, Paimon, how do you do? <laughs> I had a feeling I'd run into you soon, during this most enchanting of festivals. Spoken like a true poet. Hmm. But reading between the lines here, if one bottle is tipsy and two is merry, just how many is enchanting exactly? <laughs> oh, don't say that. This festival has so much more to offer than just drinking. Anyway, hey, Razor. How have you been? All right. I have a question. Yeah, Razor has something he wants to ask you about. Know anything about Thousand Wind Wine? Ooh, now there's a name that takes me back. <laughs> Let me think. How long has it been since I last heard someone mention Thousand Win Wine? Razor's parents left him a box with a half bottle of wine inside, and there's a label on it that says Thousand Win Wine. We heard there's a lot of history behind this type of wine, and the brewing methods go way, way back. So we figured you'd be a good person to ask. It smells good, but don't know what's inside. I see, I see. So you want to know how Thousand Wind Wine is made? Well, you came to the right person. I happen to know a little rhyme called... Well, as it happens, Thousand Wind Wine. I was going to save it for wind coming day, but far be it from me to deny an early serenade to a friend in need. How about it? Shall I recite it for you? A song. Not easy to understand, but still one to hear. Excellent answer. Then, uh, hear it you shall. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear, joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away as we wait, wait for a windier day. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the applause. Uh, was the rhyme of help to you? Like wine, a little sweet, but now head spinning. Don't understand. Don't worry, it's not just you. That was supposed to be about winemaking, but it didn't give a single detail about the process. <laughs> well, maybe it's a little abstract and romanticized, but that's one of the defining features of Mondstadt poetry. Okay, so let's try to pin this down. What did the poem say the ingredients are? Hmm. Um. An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds? Song of good cheer? Nope. Paimon has absolutely no idea what any of these refer to. Look, Tone Deaf Bard, you clearly know what the whole thing means, so could you do us a favor and at least give us a hint? You misunderstand me. I'm not trying to make you work for it or anything, but the lyrics are what they are. If there's anything they left out, even I can't fill in the blanks. If you want to know the secret behind this sweet scent, you might have to start by rolling up your sleeves. Rolling up our sleeves? You mean we need to go and make this wine for ourselves, and somehow that'll teach us everything we want to know? Uh, this better not be a prank! We've known each other for so long, and you still don't trust my intentions? Oh, oh the pain. I trust. I want to try. I want to 
make wine and find answers. If I know how to make wine, then I know what is in father and mother's wine. Right. I want to know about them. Well, if you say so, Razor, guess we'll have to take Tone Deaf Bard's word on this one. We'll give it a try, and as first-time winemakers, there's no shame if it turns out bad. Don't worry, really. Freedom is the key here. It's not as hard as you might think. As long as you add ingredients to the mix in a spirit of joy and sincerity, I promise you will reap the rewards you wish for. Hmm. I will tell Poem to teach her. Then I need to think alone. That's the spirit. So how about we meet again in two days? Let's say same place right here? Okay, I will remember. See you then. <laughs>